Overturning of Roe versus Wade demonstrations were underway this weekend for and against the Supreme Court's decision on Friday ending the right to abortion. Now states are scrambling to clarify their laws. CBS 2's Naomi Rockham joins us live with the latest. Naomi. Mary and Andrea, good morning. Today, women in at least eight states can no longer get a legal abortion, and that number is expected to grow in the coming months. Advocates on both sides say their fight is not done. Anti-abortion rights groups are vowing to use the ruling to push for near-total bans in every state. From Los Angeles to Cleveland. And Huntsville, Alabama. Americans took to the streets nationwide over the weekend following Friday's Supreme Court decision overturning Roe versus Wade after nearly half a century. I feel like I don't have a choice to my own body. Nobody wants to be stuck in a situation where they're stuck with a pregnancy. In South Carolina, emotions boiled over with protesters from both sides of the abortion debate fighting in the streets of Greenville. In Charlotte and around the U.S., abortion rights opponents celebrated the ruling. For the last 50 years, there's really been a lot of lives lost under a false ruling by the Supreme Court. At least 13 states have so-called trigger laws that locked new abortion restrictions into place after Roe versus Wade was overturned. Another 13 are likely to restrict access or enact bans soon. Women are not second-class citizens, and the government is not the one that will decide about the continuation of a pregnancy. You know, there's no equivalent there for men. What the Supreme Court said was that the Constitution does not give a woman the right to have an abortion. In apparent defiance of Justice Department guidance issued after the Supreme Court ruling, South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem vowed to bar mail-order abortion pills exactly. while saying women should not be punished for seeking them. In Florida today, abortion providers plan to ask a state judge for a temporary emergency injunction to stop a new abortion law from taking effect later this week. They argue the law violates right to privacy provisions in Florida's Constitution. Mary and Andrea. Naomi, welcome. Naomi, thank you.